This is a continuation of a set of tutorials that I'm doing building up the Zombunity MUD. It's a MUD system that has a web client, an HTTP server, and a MUD server, and it uses web sockets to connect between the uh, web client and the HTTP server, and it uses Closure Script on the client and uses Google Closure with an S, the web socket class, and the HTTP server is Webit, and then the MUD server is also written in Closure and uses an event-based system. So here's the architecture. We've already covered uh, in a previous video this HTTP server with Webit and a web client with Closure Script and Google Closure WebSocket. And now we're setting up this message queue, uh, the MUD server dispatch, the MUD server daemons, passing messages back and forth between dispatch and the daemons. And then a further part will be getting these daemons to access data in the database. And these are polling and question mark. I did end up going with polling. I looked at having uh, uh, Java called by the HSQL DB uh, procedures, but it was just quite a hassle to get the closure all compiled up into Java. So I just did polling instead. So we have one minor change to the uh, web client, and that's that we send up uh, uh, all the text that the client will generate. It'll be raw text. We'll put that into a JSON uh, string with type text and text with the message that is sent. And we have the HTTP server. HTTP server only does a couple functions. One of them is to receive connections and assign them an ID and map the ID to the connection or the connection back to the ID and receive messages from the client and send them on to the server's message queue, the MUD server message queue, and receive uh, messages from the MUD server message queue and send them back down to the client. So we use a timer task to do the message processing from the server. Uh, we get the messages from the server and we translate them from JSON back to Clojure. And these are messages from the MUD server down to the client. So we just say send to connection, send that message back down using the connection ID. And that's fairly simple. We, since we have these connections stored in a map, we can use that uh, connection ID to grab the connection from the ID to connections map and then just send that message down. And on message, it's poorly named, but uh, maybe we'll change that. It takes messages from event driven messages uh, from the client, uh, changes them from JSON to closure, adds the connection ID, and then puts them back into JSON and sends that uh, into the MUD server's message queue with message server. So we'll just quickly look uh, just to let you see all the code here. I, I'll probably put this in Git at some point in the future. You can pause this and have a look at anything that's interesting. And here we have the database and uh, our database connection information. And it's very simple. Get messages, opens a connection, a transaction, grabs the messages from the message to client. So this is MUD server to HTTP server for the client. We have a do all in here because this is uh, iterating over the result set that's hitting the database, it's only valid while we have an open connection. Once this function is done, we'll no longer be able to access those, so we slurp them all up with do all. And we make a where clause with all the IDs so we can delete them. If we actually found any messages, we'll delete them all. So we have a local copy now, we've cleared them out of the database. This is all in a transaction, so if we go parallel later on, we don't have concurrency issues. Uh, we grab the JSON out of each message and we turn that into a closure map and pass that back. When we have messages to give to the server, we call message server, which opens a connection and simply inserts that record into the message to server and puts the JSON message in the JSON field. So all messages of the server, uh, all messages going back and forth from the client and the HTTP server and the HTTP server and the MUD server are all JSON. So now let's have a look at the server. Very simple. Uh, it call, you call start processing messages and it creates another timer task. Before you do that, though, you have to call register dispatch function. The dispatch namespace will reference all the daemon namespaces to handle different events. So when we get an event, we'll call it to the appropriate daemon. The daemons cannot then uh, reference back to the dispatch. We'll have a circular reference. So we register a dispatch function for the uh, daemons to communicate back with dispatch. So first we have to call that register dispatch function. And then we can call start processing messages. Uh, start processing messages will simply call dispatch with each message that we get from the database, which is changed from JSON into a closure map. And then uh, dispatch will grab the appropriate daemon function based on the 
uh, type of the uh, message that we got. That'll be text out of the JSON. We'll keyword that up. Go into our daemon function map. If it's text, we'll call parse process message. If it's a message for the client, we'll just call message client in the DB namespace. It's fairly simple. So let's have a look at that DB namespace. Message client just puts a uh, message into the message to client table with that uh, JSON message. That's it. And then get messages is the same as the HTTP server uses. And then it just leaves the parse daemon. So here's that register dispatch function. We just get a function and put it in an atom. That's it. And then when we have an event that we want to dispatch, we can use that dispatch function. So right now I'm just using um, parse as a as an echo, um, basically an echo daemon. And uh, so we grab the connection ID in the text. We create a new message called type client. And the message is going to be the text that the user sent uh, prepended with echo. And we'll put in the connection ID and we'll call that uh, dispatch function that we dereference from that atom. So that's how we get access back into that dispatch class. And that's it. Uh, so let's have a look at how it works. We have two connections to the server here. We have one, two. And uh, you can see, I think in here, you can see multiple connections getting closed and opened. So here is client A. So we're going to send that to the server. We'll get back echo client A. And we'll see on client B that we didn't get that back. So we'll send. So client B gets back echo client B. And client A doesn't. So we can see here that the HTTP server is differentiating, differentiating between different clients. And so right now we can easily see that oh, we could uh, quite easily set this up as a chat server. And in future videos, I'll work on setting up the login and whatnot and getting some more daemons going so we have an actual MUD server built on this simple event-driven dispatch uh, framework with the WebSockets to the web client.